vlog. I initially started this vlog without knowing what I wanted to really talk about today but I thought I would just take you guys along my day because instead of sharing the high points of your life I think it's also very important to share what happens on a day-to-day -day basis because not everything is all you know a garden of roses so I just wanted to take you through my day because as you guys all know I have started studying to become a financial advisor so in all of that obviously there's a lot of work involved there's lots of assignments and then there's an exam that I have to prepare for when it does come time for that and I'm just in the process of completing my second assignment now mind you I've got two subjects so I am trying to do the best that I can so obviously I have done well in my first assignments for both subjects I was able to get a distinction which is really crazy because in high school and in university I was a very average student if that i would probably even say i'm below average um so yeah i've had a tough time trying to study um when i was back in university but now because you know the content is a little bit more up my alley i'm understanding it and i see the purpose behind it i am able to sort of apply myself a little bit more and hence why i saw that i did well in my first assignment which is yeah never really heard of before from me in terms of my previous sort of study history but now it's like you know come down to the second assignment and obviously it's got a bigger weighting it's larger it's worth 40 percent for both subjects whereas the first one was 20 percent and i'm definitely you know sort of struggling a little bit i mean i am very privileged that i do get to work from home do content creation whereas a lot of people um or my peers are you know they've got nine to five jobs so obviously it would be harder for them but I'm just finding it for myself like it's just getting a little bit stressful because there's just a lot to research and I think the citing, the you know, the references, everything, you know, is just really adding up and I've just gone into a little bit of a shell because I feel that because I did well in my first assignment, I have to do well in my second one. So I've got that added pressure which I've put on myself, I know, and I can totally get rid of it. But yeah, it's just it's just interesting. I thought I'd just take you guys along because I was doing my first assignment which was about um, economics and you know legal principles and I had come up to about question five and when I got to question five which is the last question for that assignment I realized that I just couldn't do it anymore and I just had like a little bit of a mental sort of breakdown um, but yeah I just yeah I think I'm gonna talk to you guys about that a little bit later on I'm just gonna quickly have some lunch now it's 12 o'clock I'm starving so I'm quickly gonna grab some lunch and I made something from last night so let's go get that because I'm hungry night I made some Indian food I made a pink lentil curry um, or dal and I made that with some rice and it honestly tastes amazing literally tastes just like my mom's food so I'm gonna warm this up in the microwave and I'm gonna sit down enjoy it and probably watch a TV show This is my food as you can see I've just got the curry here and this is actually some mango sweet and spicy sort of pickle and absolutely love it I went to an Indian shop and I found it and I'm literally obsessed with it I used to have this a lot when I was living at home so I'm gonna go and have this now
everyone i have just made my afternoon snack i'm absolutely starving it's because i've started going to f45 actually today is my first day of f45 again because i'm going to europe in about five and a half weeks so i want to make sure i'm in like the best shape possible that i can be and i'm trying to watch what i'm eating as well just to be a little bit more mindful and conscious of that so i just made myself some toast with some protein um sorry not protein with some peanut butter and some banana and then add a little bit of cinnamon over the top as well so this is my afternoon snack i'm starving i already had my lunch really early as well so i think it just goes to show that because i'm working out now i'm gonna be a lot more hungry so i need to eat more you know frequently but smaller portions so that's what i'm doing and yeah i'm just gonna take a few bites of this mm, so good Hmm. Yeah, that really does hit the spot actually. So, hello everyone. I've just finished snacking on my toast and peanut butter. This is actually another snack that I would highly recommend. It's just cranberries. I think I picked it up from Aldi and these are perfect for snacking, just dried cranberries. I also have that at night as well because... <clears throat> I like having something sweet with my green tea obviously don't want to have chocolate and i don't want to have anything bad so this is like naturally sweetened so i go for that option but oh also there is some sort of linen there because recently i've been sleeping on the couch for the last couple of days because ravi's just been really sick and I obviously didn't want to get sick because I've got assignments due and I wanted to make sure that I could power through get that done because it would just be the worst if I had gotten the cold as well so it's been five nights now since I've been sleeping on the couch my back is not doing too well but um, I think it's better than being sick right so I will probably sleep here one or two more nights I think because then that would give him like a proper week to recover and i don't want to catch the cold because it's so bad here in sydney and i believe it's really bad all over the world as well but basically just wanted to chat because yeah i was just saying that i was a little bit stressed given that i was studying two subjects and it was just getting so much like with the first subject i was up to question five which is the last question and then i just hit burnout like i was totally just my mind was fried and i had to stop and i was basically working on that assignment for like four or five days straight not doing anything else at home and you know not focusing on content creation that's obviously lacked a little bit as well especially on my instagram and my tiktok accounts i haven't been posting on there often because as soon as i wake up first thing in the morning my priority is like finish these assignments and i have just put so much pressure on myself and it's just like why because you know yes i'm going to be able to pass touch wood um and i don't need to go for you know high distinction or distinction or even like credits i just need to pass because you're not going to really get anything out of doing well in this sort of subject or this course because you just have to pass at the end of the day yes it'll be nice if i can get you know a high distinction but that'll, that obviously requires a lot of time effort and who's got that these days like you're still going to be able to become a financial advisor even if you do pass so that's the approach i'm going to take now instead of going you know hard out and trying to make sure that i do well so with that first assignment given it was so like economics heavy and there was a lot of research required i got burnt out so i stopped at question five and i took a break and i started with the other assignment which was like an ethics based assignment so that one's a little bit easier as well so i wanted to just you know instead of freaking myself out and you know i've only got like a week left to go i haven't even started the ethics assignment i wanted to start on that make some headway on that now i'm up to like question three out of three which is good so i do want to finish that assignment before i do get back onto the economics one and finish that last question so yeah it's just been crazy because i really pushed myself and i really should not have push myself this fast or this hard sorry um and next time i think what i can do in terms of learning and reflecting is 
I get the course notes a month before classes actually start. So why did I wait until now to start, you know, studying? Um, and we get the assignments two weeks before class actually starts as well. So obviously that's my bad. It's my first time since I've gotten into studies since I finished high university, which was in 2017. So it's about five years ago now. So it's the first time since I've studied since then. So obviously it's gonna be like, you know, a little bit um, of a teething issue getting back into it. So I'm so glad that I have a process, a plan underway that I can use for next time when I do do my other two subjects for next semester. I'm not gonna do the next semester because I'm going to Europe. I would have loved to do it because I want to get this over and done with as soon as possible but because I'm going to Europe it's just going to be way too hard to study and do assignments at the same time so I've decided not to do that and I think that's a good option for myself because otherwise it's just going to be chaotic very very chaotic and yeah I don't want to put that sort of pressure on myself this is a trip that we are meant to take that's meant to be enjoyable relaxing and I just want to shoot content so that's what the plan is but now it is 3 30 I'm gonna get back into finishing I think the last sort of question for two and then get on to the last question map that out and get started on that as well I do actually want to go into Zara as well I love shopping at Zara it's just crazy I've got like an obsession so I do want to go in there and see what I can find I'm, pi I'm buying some things for the holidays as well last night I picked up a bag which was actually a bag that I wanted to get for quite some time um, from Cult Gaia so that'll be arriving on Monday and I'll be sure to show you guys as well but for now I'm just gonna leave this here by the way I've been curling my hair and I really have been liking it so but yeah I really do miss my long hair I wish I had like long hair up to here at least but oh well anyway guys I'm gonna talk to you guys soon bye And I was asked to bring home some goodies because we all know Ravi's sick. So let me show you what he wanted from me. So we've got some vanilla ice cream. We've got some Nutella. We haven't bought Nutella like for home in so long. Like I can't even remember the last time we bought it. And we've got some waffles as well. So this is going to be his dessert. I'm not going to get on to eating any dessert for the next six weeks because we all know that we're headed to Europe. So I want to obviously feel my best, look my best and eating all of this is not going to really help with that. I also actually picked up some prawn gyozas as well. I really do like these, but I haven't tried this brand in particular, so I'm very, very excited to try that. And then I obviously went into Zara as well, but I couldn't find anything I liked, so I actually just picked up a hoodie, just an ordinary hoodie, black, nothing special. So yeah, I'm gonna unwind a little bit and I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. Hi everyone, I'm back in my room and it is about 5.30 in the evening. I plan to obviously make some dinner, but I need to get on to the next question of the assignment. So question three, I've gone through it, I've made some notes. Um, as you can see, I've made some notes and now it's just a matter of me actually attempting the questions. So I plan to do, for question three, there's four components. So plan to hopefully do question 3a tonight um, and map out b c and d so i can smash that tomorrow morning because then i've got plans for tomorrow night so it's one of my best friend's birthdays which we're going out so that should be fun but yeah this is just a raw honest chat day in my life of studying to become a financial advisor and i thought i would just 
let you guys know how it's going let me know if you're interested in more updates and i know a lot of you guys suggested that you wanted to know what the process was like so i'll definitely do a video on that but i don't want to give you know false information i want to make sure that i do provide you with actual honest and reliable answers so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research before I get back to you, but that video will be coming up soon. But guys, I'm gonna leave this video here. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Thanks guys.